So ask yourself, is this you? When you're in your downward dog and you're trying to step forward for a low lunge, when you raise your foot, do you step forward and get halfway there? You have to drop your knee and then walk your foot forward. If you do, this video is for you and do not feel bad if it's you because it's a lot of people. Place your hands onto the floor and then come back into your down dog. So let's start fresh. Hands shoulder width apart, long spine. Breathe in, tailbone to sky, push thighs towards the back of the room. Inhale, raise your right foot, point your toe, three-legged dog. Bend your knee. Bring your knee towards your chest and round your back like a cat. So you've given yourself a little bit more space already. Now you're gonna step in between your hands, tent your fingers either on one side or on both, and then try to step forward and then drop the left knee. Ah, we did it. Inhale, arms up. So good. And then place the hands down and you can step back. So two little tricks. Let's try it on the left. Inhale, raise the left leg, point your toe. Bend your knee. Knee to chest, round your back like a cat. Tent your fingers, one side, maybe the other. And step forward and drop the right knee. Always having that knee over top of the ankle and inhale, arms all the way up. And place hands onto the floor. Step back, find your down dog. And drop your knees onto the floor. Eventually over time you will be more open and more flexible and able to step forward on your own but if you find that your movement in class is a little bit choppy especially when you're moving faster and you need to adjust your foot this can be really helpful so that you can move in a little bit more of a fluid way. I hope that it was helpful please let me know if you liked it and I will see you soon.